Hello and welcome to this short presentation on Energy Pro software. My name is Chris Dunham, I'm the Managing Director of Carbon Descent. What I'm going to do is a quick presentation, a background presentation about Energy Pro and then I'm going to move on to showing you the software itself. So Energy Pro is one of four software products that we sell, but it's the only one that we haven't developed ourselves. It was developed by EMD International in Denmark um, and is, has been developed over 25 years, uh, originally called CHP Design, but as you can see, it does much more than CHP now. They've integrated solar thermal, PV, wind, and heat pumps. You can model multiple engines and fuels. You can model tri-gen absorption chillers and electric chillers, and you the range of different types of storage options from fuel storage to thermal storage and even electric vehicles as, an, uh, as a storage option. It can be used to design systems or to optimize the operation of existing systems and that is reflected by its current UK uh, user base. So um, a mix of, of utilities or operating plant and design consultancies. What does it cost? It costs 3,000 euros for the core design module and then an additional 750 euros per each additional module. Hopefully the, the names of the modules are fairly self-explanatory. The prices, those prices are for a single user for each module and then there's an additional 30% for additional users and then on an ongoing annual basis thereafter it's 20% of that, of that price to cover support and upgrades. Okay, we're now in Energy Pro itself. You can see here are the inputs, here are the outputs. And this nice graphical interface allows you to see the components of your of your project. So here you can see we've got two CHP engines, we've got some boiler plant, we've got a thermal store, we've got heat demand and, and losses associated with that. We've got a very simple tariff system. Energy Pro can deal with more complex tariffs, so just day-night tariff. And then we've got absorption chillers and electric chiller plants serving a, a cooling load. So just to show you can add new um, any new types of system here um, in in this way and it will bring up one of these little forms if you click on one of these uh, symbols here you can see the form here for one of our CHP so we can do things like specify maintenance periods we can define the, the technical parameters of the of the engine in terms of uh, efficiencies and we could have something more complicated here adding more lines so that we have efficiencies at different loads which we would then use in the modeling we can have minimum operation time and so on so there's quite a lot we can do there including even using formulae to configure the, the plant in various ways so um, that's for, for each of these different units obviously we've already set that up so here we can see uh, the a simulation now I've run, I've run that project. You can see a simulation of uh, how it's optimizing these particular units. So you can see here we've got in terms of the, the heat demand here um, and then it's being largely supplied by our two uh, gas engines. And the reason it's doing that rather than using the boiler is up here it's calculating the cost of heat and the cost of cooling from our different systems. So it's trying to optimize based on running the least cost system. That's something that you can you can override. You can use your own operation strategy, but that's fundamentally what Energy Pro will try and do based on the price signals that you've um, you've given it in the input. So here you can see the thermal store being charged up and discharged and charged up and discharged and so on. Obviously we're looking at the, f the first week of the year here in January so we haven't got any cooling going on but if we scroll through into the summer you can see cooling coming on stream and you can see what it's generally doing is using the absorption chiller as serving the base load topping up with the electric chiller and it's working out up here in terms of these priorities that because electricity is more expensive during the day that it's cheaper to run the the chiller uh, the absorption chiller if we had the cooling demand at night it, it would be running the electric chiller to serve that demand at which point electricity is is cheaper to serve that electric chiller and it's and it's less cost effective to run the chp because electricity is less valuable from the chp so here you can see it's trying to maximize production on those two engines during the, the peak hours when electricity is most valuable. So moving quickly through these some of these different reports that you can get. So you can see the, the a breakdown of the, the figures really behind that graph. 
over, over a year uh, in terms of what's producing what and how many run hours and so on of each system. You can see um, load duration curves and you can see what's producing what against those load duration curves. You can do the same for cooling. Um, you can look at monthly cash flow. Here we're just looking at a single year, but you might want to set um, set up a project and look over 25 years and so on. And you can uh, set electricity and heat prices over that period. You can uh, model investments and get um, figures such as net present value, set discount rates and so on. And here you can get profit and loss um, statements so you can model a company operating this plant set tax rates and so on and actually see what the impact would be in terms of of all of that so you can also get um, a, a catalog of technical assumptions here so it's quite useful to give to a, to a client just to show your what you're assuming and again economic assumptions and down here this project report section you can actually set up a custom report including all of these or some of these different or all of these different reports here and set options so that you've got one single report which includes your kind of favorite reports in the format that you like as one report so that's a, a whirlwind tour through energy pro thank you very much for listening